So, my name is Sanne Vaasa, <laughs> I'm from the Netherlands uh, and um, uh, I'm working here for a month in bus projects uh, and um, the title of the exhibition is Being as Becoming and we are here working, yeah, as if it's our studio in a way. So we're working and people can walk in and see how our process is going. Also gave me a way of thinking about my own process. Oh well, what I noticed is that in the beginning of my practice, um, um, more, I don't know, working on a table, like really um, figuring things out, what's the idea and what's the material I can use, like finding ways to combine things. And then there was this one point and then it became from the making points to the presentation points. So we're shifting everything around and then just creating the space and the objects in the space. And before that, I never thought about that because that's happening really natural in my studio. But being here, I realized, ah, okay, I have this shifting moment from process to presentation in a way. Earlier, my practice was more about the material and maybe more um, um, well, the starting point was the material and from that point on I was uh, doing actions with the material, it was sort of a game with the material and I notice now that it's also about theory and not only about the material. So that's something that shifted and changed and one of the most important things in my practice back then was time, time lapse and things that are evolving or changing. Uh, Something like water was really important for me in the few works that I've been working on. So shifting from time, from where I was starting from in the beginning of my practice, it moved on to identity. Um, and I think also from that point on to communication, um, to language, to symbolism. Um, so that's maybe the main thing, are the main things that I'm working on uh, at the moment. Um, and my work is always, it starts from a concept or an idea and then I'm uh, playing with material and then it comes together in a way. And um, yeah, so it's not only video or photo, it's like uh, installation. It can be anything actually. Yeah, so um, I was invited to participate um, and I didn't know Frick at all. Frick, I didn't know him. Uh, so I just got invited because he saw, saw a show of me um, with my work and I thought, yeah, I found it really nice that I was invited, of course, to come to Melbourne and working here for a month. It's really a nice opportunity uh, also to dive into um, um, maybe the history of Melbourne, the location, just to be in a different um, environment that I'm normally in uh, and see what happens. Also breaking up like my normal practice, it's really strict in a way and I try to let that go here. So to play more and maybe go back a little bit more to um, uh, my old practice, to break it up a little bit more and to have more interaction um, um, and work more freely in a way. Yeah, so uh, I've been working here for a month and I took some ideas of, that I already had back home in the Netherlands. Um, so for example, one work that was already finished and I only had to find someone that could uh, make it. Um, so that's a work where I um, reduce flags into loose uh, threads. And I give, give these loose threads to a weaver from the concerned country. So I did this with the Dutch flag, the Belgian flag, the German flag, and now the Australian flag. I found someone who can weave it. Um, yeah, so a new new piece um, piece of cloth is made out of the loose threads. And by this, I think this big nationality, like the symbol of nationality becomes um, something that's for an individual that can make a new thing out of it. Um, so that's something that is a work that was already finished and that I just took here and um, 
Yeah, that was actually already finished. But another thing that I've been working on, so this communication and uh, the non-verbal communication is now something that's really important to me. And while well, speaking it and doing it, for example, the uh, way that we talk with our hands, I, uh, I was working with this idea already. Uh, but for example, so scent, how scent is a big influence on how we communicate and uh, how we interact with each other. Um, yeah, so I took these ideas and here I think it came together, uh, it um, got materialized in a way here at the moment. Then I was in the park and I found this really big palm tuck. Um, and first I was drawing on it, like um, scratching it off. And then uh, I got the idea to burn it in the wood. And I also found it a nice way to put it on the wood because of the um, the way um, wood or uh, branches were used in history. So if you would come in peace, um, you would give, you would overgive like a piece of wood uh, between tribes and that you could say we are coming in peace. It was like a, um, a way of communicating with each other because the different languages and people didn't understand each other. So I thought this was a great way that it fell into each other, like coming together in a way. Also, one thing that I brought from back home was the idea to have something physically, something in material uh, from conversations. Because this exhibition is really about, yeah, the interaction between people that come and see the, the, the art or see us work. And I thought it was a nice way to uh, get something really personal from people. So what I do is I put a roll of clay in between my hands and then we shake hands. So it's actually the space in between our hands and you have my lines and your lines. Uh, so these two come together in this one piece of clay. And I just find them, I think I'll just put them home in my living room and just keep them like a few, yeah, it's really personal for me. Yeah, so we've been working here for uh, a month on this project and uh, we've been working in the gallery. Um, but it was, yeah, for me in the beginning kind of hard because when I'm in my studio normally I work alone and here people are coming in, people are passing by and uh, starting conversations and I found that really hard in the beginning so um, what I tried to do is be here present working like physically on something or uh, making something out of the material and then go back to the park or have a walk and uh, freshen up there and be in my own space in my own head in my own mind um, and combining those together it worked out really well and I think uh, having this time, this one month working on projects, that's, yeah, that was really valuable. And uh, it was nice that things came together here, so that they were falling um, together. Yeah, I have a show coming up where uh, I'm really excited about, that's in the Netherlands, in Wilda, it's in the south of the Netherlands. And it's a really beautiful place, and the exhibition will be called Traces. Um, and I'll be showing a really big work there. So I'm really looking forward. I've been working on that project since 2014. So that's nice. And then after that, I have a residency in Liège, uh, in Belgium, uh, for three months. So there are yeah, really nice things to look forward to. Yeah. What I'll be showing is a project that I started in 2014. Uh, and I collected, I tried to collect all the leaves of one tree. So every day I went to this tree in autumn and I got all the leaves and I um, kept them, dried them and uh, yeah, keep them safe. <laughs> and now what I try to do is put them in dia frames. So they're literally in the dia and then I project through it and then you see the, the, like the leaf projected in big size on the wall. Um, and I want to show all the leaves. It, it's not possible to show them all together because then I have to have like 1,289 or something. I think I'll say it wrongly, but it's something like that. It's like 12,000 leaves. Uh, yeah, so that's really big and it's going to be shown in a really nice space in the Kutzhuis. So it's this really old building and I have the whole uh, town floor. 
So yeah, this is something that I'm looking forward to. I've been working on it. It's like crazy work. <laughs>